Okay, so 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 for the uh, for, for now we would like to start with the legal uh, legal issues that we see that we encounter and that you might encounter as well in a, in a national and in a European context. Uh, to start off with that, I would like to ask uh, Arthur to come to stage. And Arthur, we are colleagues, and so I would like to give Arthur the floor, at least to present one of the initiatives on, on crowdfunding seeds. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Arthur van der Graaf. Um, I've been working on seeds for the last two years. Um, I want to do something different today. I've been talking a lot about seeds. I'm giving a number of presentations this week. And I want to try something different, so I'm a little bit scared because I want to add some humor to it because we're going to talk about legal and all that kind of stuff and it's Friday morning, etc. So, I'm a banker, so it's a little bit diff difficult to be humorous at this moment, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'll do seats in 60 seconds. So, in case there are any difficult questions, I just say, I just have 60 seconds, I'm sorry, wait for the coffee. Um, positioning and timing is everything. It's a nice slide, I think, it's a guy, almost been run over by a car. And why is this slide important? Because seeds, how is it positioned? And why after two years? Maybe that are the two main issues I want to talk about in this presentation. We're positioned within the Dynex Incubator. The Dynex Incubator is an innovation center of ABN Emerald Bank, and we're doing research on crowdfunding. We're doing research, but also in the same time, we're also actually crowdfunding five entrepreneurs. And we also have the intention to go on with more entrepreneurs and make it <coughs> successful but because we think in entrepreneurs has to be have to be successful and it's also important for the bank for the bank we're in the bank that means that we have to take care of our customers at the moment that we offer them investment in crowdfunding it's important that we offer them something that they like at this moment that they agree upon at this moment but also after 10 years or five years or three years still say okay I made my choice. It was not a good choice, but I knew I was making that choice myself, and I also knew why I made that choice. That's something I really would like to stress. I think people have to be more responsible for the choices they make. As soon as I say, okay, it's ABN AMRO, I think they should still make their own decisions. It should not be, okay, ABN AMRO Bank selected the entrepreneur, so there's no risk I can invest in those entrepreneurs. Timing. We see that there is a need for innovation at this moment. I don't know if the, the slide is clear enough, but this is innovative, I think. Um, and also focus on sustainability. At this moment, we, SEEDS, is proof that AB Number Bank is, is innovative uh, in the field of financing companies. And it's also proof uh, that we think sustainability is very important. If we look at SEEDS, the entrepreneurs on SEEDS uh, think that uh, making money is important, but also making a good impact impact in, uh, on the environment is also important. If you look at crowdfunding, what they're doing, they're in a movement, they're changing something, and if you change something and if you show leadership, you can get and connect a crowd, and you need a crowd to get funded. Easy as that. What's going on in the world? Uh, we've been looking at uh, various trends uh, before we uh, made our proposition, and we saw that there's a need for transparency, and there was a lack of, uh, of the negative attitude towards banks wisdom of the crowds, etc. So you all know these trends. But also, what can we learn? Uh, I see one guy in the, in the audience, Jim, uh, when I started, and Jos, of course, also. When uh, we started Seeds, uh, the average age was 25 year or 30 years, approximately, of the team. Uh, I added two uh, experienced guys with a lot of risk uh, experience to have more perspective in the, in the, in the uh, proposition. <laughs> Added value of social media. We're all talking about social media. You know, social media, social media, social media. We have all kinds of experts of social media. And we have one company, 70,000 followers on Facebook. If they post something, within three minutes, they will have 2,000 likes. And if they post a, a, a question, within two, three minutes, they have 2,000, 3,000 likes. Not one answer. And crowdfunding is activating people through social media. And if there are any experts in the room they, they, who say, okay, if I post something on Facebook, I will get an answer, I will get an action, raise your hand. Wow. <laughs> She's the one to talk to during coffee. Seeds is a crowdfunding platform where we connect um, involved investors to um, entrepreneurs with a positive impact. And what you do is you invest and you have, how do you say, you share the results of the company. 
And if you look at results, uh, we use seeds, seed money. Uh, if you invest your money, uh, you will get a financial return and also a, a product. We invested a new financial product. This is uh, the VOC, 1600, uh, invention of a new product. And when you think of VOC, you also think of ships. If I think of seeds, and if the legal guys within the Haven Bank think of seeds, they also think about ships, UFOs. Um, UFOs, why? It's dangerous, it's scary, it's new. We invented a, an unidentified financial object, yeah, the, the UFO. This is how America deals with that. What is it going to bring us? How can we adjust the legal, uh, address the legal issues? What can we do to make it better? I don't know if the legal things they're doing uh, are helping. I don't think so. But I mean, they look at it in a different way. What we do is that we try to protect it. But in the meantime, maybe there's a friendly enemy of an alien. In the same time, maybe there's an entrepreneur. This is one of the entrepreneurs on the platform. It's uh, you know, Yum, Yum Concepts. They uh, raised 12,000 euros in uh, approximately one month, 80 investors. If we deduct four bigger investors, you will see that the average investment is 100 euros. What you see is that friends and family have invested, but now the fans are also investing. And the fans are investing 100 euros. Imagine that we can reach all the fans of Andy and all the entrepreneurs that want to get, start their business. And if you can go to the bank and say, okay, I have a product, I have a business case, and I have fans who are willing to invest. You, you raise, or you, as I said, you, do, you, do, you lower the risk uh, uh, for the bank. So it's also possible for the bank to give the finance. So you can work together. This is the financial result. Um, maximum financial result is 150, uh, 1.5 of the, the money you've invested. So it's not all about money, because you also get the product. This is Green Graffiti, another uh, entrepreneur who is uh, making uh, reverse gravity. When we think about gravity, we think about gravity. When they think about gravity, they think about a new way uh, to make uh, commercials by cleaning the streets. So what they do is they clean the streets uh, and with a message. And they also work with, uh, what's the English word for moss? Moss. Moss, that's easy. <laughs> So what they do, they use natural natural materials because they came from the uh, advertising world and they saw there was a lot of paper and ink and water used in the advertising world. And they asked themselves, can we make commercials without water, without ink, without paper? They laughed and two years later they had this company. We don't say it's a good company. We have experts who have an opinion about the company and the investors can use that opinion to form their own opinion and make the decision. These are all the companies on, the, on seats. And the, the most important question for me, do you have any questions? There's no, there's no equity involved, but you, um, as soon as they start to generate, to, 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 to have any revenues, then you, um, give a small percentage of that to the investor until they reach 150% until they reach one time, uh, one or five times a year. The, the minimum investment is 50 euros. Yeah. Uh, 50 euros is five parts of 10 euro. Yeah. On every part, you will get a return. For instance, say a company uh, says, my, my, when my, uh, return, my, my, uh, say my turnover is 100,000 euros, yeah. I will give my investor one euro per part. Yeah. When my return is turnover is 200,000 euros, I will give my investors 2 euro per month. Yeah. And so in in best case, ma maximum uh, return is for instance 5 euros, you will get your return in 3 years. Yes. Worst case, you will not get any return, because it's not a loan. It's not, uh, it's not equity, it's neither a loan. It's a UFO. <laughs> it's a UFO. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's an agreement between the investor and the, uh, and the entity. Other questions? Not to rip our piss off, because you will be next yeah. stage. Yeah. And there was a question here. Was there a question? So spread the seeds. Oh, okay. was there a question? Oh. So, sorry, sorry, not to hold up, but to sure. follow up, why not equity? Why, why, why didn't you do this? Okay, very, very good question. Um, when we started, we, we thought about equity, we thought about loans. And there was a lot of discussion going on, because we did, we did have different uh, opinions about uh, that subject. So we started to talk with investors and we started to talk with potential investors. We started to talk with entrepreneurs and we made a long list 
of all the uh, requirements that work. And then we said, okay, if we have those requirements and we have, if we have different scenarios, we, we, we drew up approximately 60 scenarios, what are the negative and the positive upsides from that uh, different uh, requirements? Then we brought all those requirements together and we came up with this product. So we just said, okay, if you look at what there is, just don't think about it a little bit more, ask a lot of questions, and then look at the, the, few, the, the past and see what we can learn, and come up with a new product. That's the, the main issue. But we asked people, do you want to have equity? They didn't want to have equity. Do you want to have formal say in the company? No, informal is good enough. Do you want to make a lot of money? Do you, are you looking for the one Google, or are you looking for an average return that's good enough, and a positive impact? In that, in that way. Thank you, Arthur. You'll be around again, sir.